Hello, before making a video about it today, I'd never used the neutral gear in our Ionic Electric car, so why does the Ionic Electric even need a neutral gear? I've come to electric cars from driving manual or stick shift cars. So there I would be used to using neutral to sort of not have the gears engaged for a long time when you're stopped, say, in traffic or at traffic signals and so on, not to burn out your clutch. For hypermiling, you might also want to put the car in neutral to try and save fuel, although with modern cars, the benefits of doing that are a bit dubious. In an electric car like our Ionic Electric, I just can't see the use for a neutral gear at all. Driving the Ionic is incredibly simple. There's only a single gear, there's no clutch or double clutch, it's just press drive to go forwards and press reverse to go backwards. Particularly because the Ionic Electric has these regenerative braking adjustment paddles to the right and left of the steering wheel, you can already put the car in a kind of hypermiling, coasting, freewheeling mode by putting level zero on the regen, which essentially is the same as having it in neutral gear. So I'm going to demonstrate that now by coasting with it in neutral and coasting with it in the zero, the level zero regen, which is the coasting level of the regen. Nothing around, quiet road, not inconvenient sending anybody. Switching to neutral and see what happens. Okay, so there's zero energy use and we're just kind of rolling. Back into drive. Okay, now doing the same thing, but just uh, after having reduced the regen to nothing, just taking my foot off, off the accelerator, and again, zero energy use, and just basically rolling. So the experience of being in level zero regen is just the same as neutral. There's just no benefit to use neutral while driving, even if it is legal where you are in the world. So it's clear there that driving the car in level zero regen, or no regen, the feeling is exactly the same as having it in the neutral gear. There's no difference, so that's no reason to have a neutral gear in the Ionic Electric. If you try to switch off the Ionic Electric in neutral gear, it will actually tell you to put it into park. Shift to P. So that's of no use either. You can't use the neutral gear in the Ionic Electric to leave the transmission unlocked if you wanted to do that. The only reason I can think of that the Ionic Electric still has a neutral gear is for a breakdown of some kind where you need to be towed. The Ionic Electric, like other electric cars, has special towing instructions, as we can see here. Now, you're not supposed to have the wheels that have the drive on them on the road while it's being towed, although you can have dollies under them. Other than for towing, I can't see the reason for the Ionic Electric to have a neutral gear at all. It seems to be a legacy, a hangover of earlier stages in kind of automotive technology. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Why do cars like this need a neutral gear? Do they need one at all? Or could it just be sort of removed from the design of it? Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this short video. Please subscribe and comment if you'd like to. And bye for now.